presentation of the NHL 2020 playoff simulation. Yes, we're doing the entire playoffs right here on Jablam Sports on Twitch and on our website, jablamsports.com. You can go to our website. We have all the previous games as well on our Twitch. But on our website, we also have our schedule, our stats, the matchups, how they're all the series are doing. What do we have earlier tonight? Well, before we get into this game, earlier tonight was Colorado and Dallas, the first game. Dallas won, and they take the 3-1 series lead. Game two, Edmonton, Calgary. Edmonton handily won again, 4-1, and they win the series, sweeping Calgary. Calgary is out. First out of this year's Jablam playoffs here. And then the third game tonight just finished. Tampa versus Toronto. Tampa Bay edges barely over Toronto with a comeback 3-2 win. And Toronto leads that series 3-1. All these games playing tonight will be on in two days on Saturday night. Last game of the night right now coming up in less than a minute and a half. Battle of Pennsylvania here. The Flyers at Pittsburgh. 2-1 series lead for Pittsburgh so far. Both two overtime games already in this series. It's been a close one. Every game has ended in a one goal difference. Pittsburgh right now in the series. Philadelphia won the first game 3-2. Second game 5-2 for Pittsburgh. And the last game 5-4. Zucker with two goals. And of course the, the overtime winner. Schultz is leading the Pens in points so far. Five points, one goal, four assists, and Zucker with four goals. Rodriguez also has two goals and assists. Murray's been between the pipes for all three games so far. And for Philadelphia, JVR has been pretty good with a goal and three assists, four points. And Kevin Haynes, of course, in that first game had two goals, and he has three points so far. Carter Hart's been between the pipes for them all three games. Game... Four coming up next 2 1 Pittsburgh. And again, you can follow us and add us on Twitch, also on Twitter, and our website, jablamsports.com, for all your information. Game four right now, starting Philadelphia at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's leading 2 1. Who's going to win game four and go back to Philadelphia in two days? We'll see. James Cebulski. Ray, an opportunity to take a real stranglehold on this one here tonight. Another win would really put them in a good spot. Driver's seat for sure. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Shilavec is ready to drop the puck. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Tries to get it over to Zucker. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Rocked on the play. Sends the pass over. And makes the save. Philadelphia's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Keeps hold of the puck. Moves it to Niskanen. Pass right on the doorstep, and he can't get it off. You'll need more than that to beat him. Quick feed to Zucker. Pittsburgh's got it across the line. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender. Good stop for Carter Hart. He won the gold medal with Canada's World Junior Team in 2018 been the goaltender the Flyers have been looking for for a long time. The Flyers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Scores! They're on the board early. Yeah, there's also a lot of people not in their seats yet. Man, that was quick. 
Control of the faceoff by the offensive team allows them to snap it into position for the shot. The goalie's not set, and he gets beat on it. Philadelphia's got that lead. They were talking about wanting to quiet that home crowd here. Well, they certainly did. Out of the gate quickly. A couple of shifts. Now they're up 1-0. And now goal. it's grabbed by Sanheim. Here's a short pass to Van Riemsdyk. Philadelphia's got the puck against the half wall. Big time stick save. Oh, and another big stop. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Lots of time left in this period. 1-0 the score. Setter's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Carries it in. Moves it quickly over to Malkin. Off the post! The Penguins are talking on their bench that the chances are there. The opportunities will come their way. But this shot hits the post, and they still trail. Here's a shot! Traps that puck tight to his chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. I want to get another look at this one, James. This looks like it hurts. I'm glad I'm in a suit here. Philadelphia is capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. And a solid job tying up his opponent. And there's a lucky souvenir for someone in the crowd as the puck heads out of play. The Flyers have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Pittsburgh's won it. Puck picked up by Pedersen. Passes it over to Pedersen. From the opposite point. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Rodriguez. Taken by Hornquist. Maintains possession. Back to the blue line. Knocked off the puck. Pitlick's moving it ahead. They've got numbers. And he slides it quickly to Sanheim. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Right in front. Misses wide of the net. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. And that one's turned away. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. And he gains the zone here. Takes the pass. And that goes off a player. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. Lawton's got the puck. Levels them with the hit. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Hornquist's carrying it ahead. From the slot, wrist shot, blocker save. A defenseman loves this. The puck doesn't stay in front of the net. It's now in the corner. He doesn't have to worry about fighting another guy for position. Into the offensive zone. Thompson's got it against the boards. Nice pass. Puts it wide. Yeah, I know he's looking for the perfect shot. He's going to be disappointed that he didn't get it on the cage. Here's a chance. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Carries it across the line. Puts it towards Whoa. the net. Scores! Well, the game back to level now. Anybody that's had a lead, the lead is gone, and now we're evened up again. This is a perfectly timed shot. As soon as the goalie drops into the butterfly, this puck is delivered right over his catching glove into the top of the net. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Couturier's won it. Quick pass to Giroux. Giroux's got it along the boards. Over the line they come. Rocked him in the open ice. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. 
And now he tries to get it across to Sherry. Sherry's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a chance right out in front and forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Sends a pass over. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Moves it around along the half wall. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Crosby. Moves the puck. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Off a stick. Manages to hang on. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Looks to pass it to Malkin. On the attack along the boards. Here's a blast. Answers it with an even better save. Oh, sometimes you think you got lots of room to make a move. Not there. He got closed down and hammered. What a hit. In the final moments of this period, we got a tie game. Costas Bears moving the puck through his own zone. Van Riemsdyk swooping in on the attack. Minute of play in the first period. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Philadelphia's got the puck here in the open ice. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. And there's the save. Here's a chance. Big save just as time runs out. And that'll do it for period number one. All evened up at one goal apiece. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. We player listings for both teams, player miles, and informative stories. And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. This series has been tight, and the first period shows you that again. Flyers putting a little bit more pressure on there, but it it's even at ones with JVR scoring for the Flyers and Sid the Kid scoring for Pittsburgh. All right, let's go straight to the second period in a second here. Remember to go to our website, jablamsports.com, for all your information, statistics, and schedules coming up. We don't know exactly what time this game will be in but it will be on Saturday game five so be sure to stick on, stay on our Twitter and on our website Jablam Sports to see when exactly that next game is but it will be for sure Saturday night in two days all right second period up next and we are just moments away from the start of period number two and we are underway, still tied up here in the second. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Pittsburgh's got to get on their horse a little bit here, James. They really haven't generated much in the way of shots on goal yet. Moves it to Crosby. Oh, you can't miss that. Uh, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Zucker's got it along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Shiri. The Flyers have the puck now. Couturier slugging the puck. Here's an odd man rush. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. Make the save, help yourself out at the same time. Good stop, but the better part is that he gets the puck away from the front of the net. Moves the puck along the half wall. There's the physical side. Here they come on the attack. Shot makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Whistle blown as that's redirected into the crowd. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go, and he had to absorb this huge hit. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. 
Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Comes up with the stop. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Marlowe's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there and it didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. No, though. none. Pittsburgh sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. It'll be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power plays, they move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. That's love by heart. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Crosby's won the draw. Quick shot. Stick save. Really good save. Control the rebound. Get it into the corner where you can reestablish yourself. Big save by the goaltender once again. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Handles it again. Philadelphia's got control of the puck. Quick feed to Hayes. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Sends it over. Here's a rocket of a shot. Scores! And the deadlock is broken. Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. of bodies in front of the goaltender. I don't think he gets a clean look at this as the power play zips a puck around the zone and they cash in. The Penguins have built themselves a one goal lead here in the second. Let's see if they can build on it now. They'd like to take control of the game if they can. They now have the one goal margin but they want to stretch it out. Puck scooped up by Provorov. Along the half wall with the puck. Bumped off the puck. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Tanev. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. What a steal in his own end. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. From the slot, wrist shot blocked in traffic. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. This is a good old-fashioned hooking the call here. He looked like he was water skiing. Man, you got to move your feet. You get your stick around his waist, you'll get called. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. If your power play's successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Gets it out of his own end. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Zucker's got it in the offensive end. Slides it back to the blue line. Denies him with the save and manages to clear the zone. The Penguins have it against the wall. A little back and forth. Passes on over to Shiri. Unloads from the blue line. Oh, wow! What a save with the glove! Past the midway mark of the frame, we've got a 2-1 game. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Gets it out of his own end. Pittsburgh's got it behind the net. The Penguins' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous, but they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. And that banks off a stick. Receives the pass. Let's it rip. Makes a save with the glove. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. 
Raffle's going to play it against the half wall. Whiffs on that. Pittsburgh's got the puck. And now he moves it to Zucker. With possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Wrist shot from the slot. Gets a stick on it. Tries to get the puck to Raffle. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Big save. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Slides the puck over. And now he angles it across to Shiri. Here's a shot. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. And the puck's kicked free. Grant's got the puck in his own zone. Grant's got the puck. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. With the stop. Directs it on over to Rust. Rust's got it across the line. Taken along the wall by Marlowe. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Pitlick's got it against the boards. Here's a short pass to Simone. Simone's got it in the offensive zone. Latang's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Huge steal in his own end. Not ideal. You've got to take a chance here, James, trailing in the game. Throws it in. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. From the right side and up the middle. They've got the defense outnumbered. Shot! He scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. Really quick puck movement always helps when you've got the extra man. The defenders just don't catch up to it, and it ends up in the net. Philadelphia's equalizer comes at a critical time of the game, late in the period, isn't it, Ray? Anytime you give up a goal late in the period, you feel like you've given up more than that. So this is a critical goal. Moves it around along the half wall. There's a shot. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Picks it off. They go back on the attack. Comes up with a blocker save. And that'll do it for 40 minutes in the books. We are still tied at two. Everything old is new again. If you wear your vintage jersey to our next game, you'll receive a coupon for a free burger. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. Wow, another big period. Man, JVR has been huge all playoffs for the Flyers so far, the best player. And he, again, scores two goals already in this game. Game started off with JVR scoring in the first period and then Crosby scoring to tie it up. In that second period, Pittsburgh took the lead. They took advantage with the two power play opportunities, scoring on one by Chris Letang. And then JVR scoring in the final minute of that second period to tie it up. Pittsburgh and Philly again tight every single game has been decided by one who's going to come in the third period and score of that big goal or is it going to go into overtime again this series has already had two overtime winners overtime games and winners Kevin Hayes with two big goals in the first game one in overtime and Zucker last game in game three scored two goals is second of course in overtime 2-2 Oh, a third period coming up next and just to remind you tomorrow 7 p.m. Eastern 4 p.m. Pacific St. Louis and Nashville is the first game on tap tomorrow 2-2 two, two apiece in that series as well 2-2 two, two, Vegas and Winnipeg that game is at 8 p.m. tomorrow Eastern 5 p.m. Pacific third game tomorrow is at 9 p.m. Boston Columbus Boston's leading 3-1 9 p.m. Eastern 6 p.m. Pacific in the final game tomorrow Washington at Carolina or no game yeah they're game five sorry Carolina at Washington 3-1 Carolina in that series 10 p.m. Eastern 7 p.m. Pacific third period coming up in a second and remember to follow us here on Twitch and on Twitter but here on Twitch and on our website jablamsports.com we have all the previous games if you missed any if you're a big fan of 
Philly or Pittsburgh, you might want to check out all the games. They're fantastic. Two overtime games. Could be another one here today. All on JablamSports.com and here on Twitch. We have schedules, stats, and all kinds of information on the website as well. Third period coming up right now. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. This one's still deadlocked as we are now underway here in the third. On the attack along the boards. Puts one on net. Oh, wide of the net. Grabbed along the boards by Crosby. Great hit on the play. Pittsburgh's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Philadelphia's got a hold of it against the wall. Put it off the post. Scooped up along the wall by Zucker. Blocker save. Niskanen's got to know right before he takes this hit that he's going to get run over. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's all tied up. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Takes it across the blue line. Back to the point it goes. And that's broken up. Puck grabbed by Braun. Great save with the stick. Moves the... There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. Bang, bang, shot off the goalie. The puck falls down, and the shooter's the one that gets to the rebound, and he puts it in. up by one now here in this third period. You don't have much breathing room, but I guess it's better to be in front than behind. They'll want to continue to try to forecheck. Hayes wins it in the dots. Quick pass across to Konechny. Great positioning in the defensive end. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And now it's over to Marlowe. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Latang's got it into offensive territory. Takes a shot. Over the net. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the wall by Dumoulin. Makes the save. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Flyers are looking to build on this one goal lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Pitlick. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Wrist shot from the slot. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. Philadelphia has been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense and they lead here in the third. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. He says, let's get physical on that play. Hornfist's got it along the wing. Let's it fly, and he makes the save. Philadelphia's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. McCann's won the draw here in the offensive zone, and that's broken up, and he coughs it up with the pass. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. Picked up along the boards by Pitlick. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabs control of it at the point, and it's a quick pass to Grant. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Carries it in. Here they are on the attack. That's a solid check on the play. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Hey, do these guys know they can skate around each other? Each time they've come together, it's been another body contact. 
Philadelphia's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Slides it over with pace to Johnson. Taken along the wall by Voracek. Moves it quickly over. He scores! The captain leading by example! This is a tough shot. You don't have a lot of room because the goaltender can use his whole upper body to make the save. High stick. He gets beat again. That's a nice shot. The Flyers have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Crosby's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Johnson. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Oh, what a hit. Moves the puck down low. Handles the puck. Grabbed along the board by Johnson. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sheary. Handles the puck at the point. Moves it to Sheary. Knocked away. Straight up the middle. Here they come. They've got numbers. Sends it across. And the puck dies with the trapper save. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Philadelphia's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Thompson's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Carries it across the line. Here's the pass. Big time stop there. Good hit on the play. Quick feed to Dumoulin. Sends the pass down low. Uses the force on that hit. Tries to get it to Raffle. Sent into the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Tries to get the puck over to Tanev. Puck leaves the zone, forcing a mass exodus. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. The Flyers have been the most aggressive team in this game. Now they've stretched the lead out as they continue to wear their opponent down. Here in the late going of the frame, 4-2 is the score. Mulkins won the draw. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a blast! Nice! He scores! Oh, what a play as he gets his own rebound and puts it in! Once his puck bounces off the goaltender the first time, the shooter's the next guy in position. The D can't turn quick enough, and he puts it away into the net. Pittsburgh's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Mulkins won the draw here in the open ice. Handles the puck from the left side. With possession along the wall. Time of the goal. 15 minutes. Sends the pass over. Seconds. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. A critical draw here. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Van Riemsdyk's carrying it ahead. Shot denied by the goaltender. Crosby's won the faceoff. Couturier's going to play it against the half wall. 
Over the line they come. Here's a chance. Puts it just wide of the net. He didn't have much room. He's making the attempt for a perfect shot there. And now it's grabbed by Voracek. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. Slides it diagonally to Crosby. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Dumoulin. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. From the point, denies him on the slapper. Let's get the call here. Gostas Bears getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Another scoring opportunity looms here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And manages to clear the zone. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Here they come on the attack. Here's a short pass to Hornquist. Let's it fly. And a great save. Now a quick pass to Crosby. On the tip. Nice save off the tender's pad. The net is empty. The extra attacker's out. And a huge face-off looming. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Puck picked up by Sanheim. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Deuce is wild in this series, pretty much what we expected. Yeah, now you're getting into the part of the series, James, where it becomes a war of attrition. Guys are starting to get banged up. They're tired. The game's getting more and more intense. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night. Wow. That was crazy. Holy cow. Big goals there in the third period by the captain, Claude Giroux. And before that, Travis Konechny. And then Marlow, with just over three minutes remaining in the game, puts it within one. Pittsburgh with a chance. They have a power play with just over 30 seconds remaining. Few chances. Big saves by Carter Hart. Seals this win for Philly. And it's tied again this series. 4-3 win for Philly. Big game. Another big game for JVR. And Kevin Hayes, three assists. He's been solid all series for the Flyers and JVR as well. 4-3 win. Philadelphia wins for the last game of the night. Wow. Barn burner of a series. Every single game's been tight. Both teams have an overtime win. Both teams have a regulation one goal difference win. It's been outstanding to watch every game. If you haven't seen any of the games, add us on Twitch. Follow all the games are on our Twitch as well. They're also on our website, jablamsports.com. Check out our website. We have all the previous games on there as well as all the stats and information and schedules. Game 5 in Philadelphia will be Saturday night at the same time, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Don't miss out on that. Some big games to round up the night. Just so you know, if you missed out, Game 1 of the night was Colorado and Dallas. Dallas winning. So they're ahead 3-1. to one. Edmonton beating Silly, the Flames, and they win 4-1. to one. The series is over. The Flames are out. They're out of the playoffs. The Oilers are going to the first team into the next round. Calgary's the first team out. So they sweep Calgary. The third game of the night was Tampa and Toronto. Tampa comes back. Toronto up by 2, and Tampa comes back and beats them 3-2 in the third period. Wow, what a game. So that game, Toronto leads 3-1 now. Game 5 also, Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. And the last game of the night was this game you just watched. What a game, 4-3 Philly. They hold off, big goals in the third there. 
Giroux and Konechny, and the Flyers win 4-3. to three. This series is knotted up at two apiece. And again, Game 5 will be Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. Don't miss out on that. Tomorrow, what do we have on tap? So you know, 7 p.m. Eastern, we started off St. Louis and Nashville. Game 5. Tied up at 2 for each team. Also tied up at 2 is Vegas and Winnipeg. That's at 8 p.m. Eastern. 5 p.m. Pacific. Game 5, Boston and Columbus right after that. At 9 p.m. Eastern, Boston's leading that series 3-1. And Carolina's leading their series against the Capitals 3-1. Again, that will be tomorrow, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. Full slate tomorrow. Don't miss out on that. Big games add us on twitch we're also on twitter we're everywhere we're on discord we're also going to have a charity uh support on our website that'll be there in a few days don't miss out again go to jablamsports.com for all your information schedules and stats thank you for watching everybody stay home stay safe thank you good night folks